Today on the Griffin News, two students collaborated last semester to produce a video that showcases the day in the life of a college student. And a new club is planting their footprint at the Sugarloaf Campus with a new garden. Welcome to the Griffin News, I'm Christopher Civil. And I'm Jada Zabala. The big story today is Chestnut Hill's upcoming Harry Potter Festival. The event went viral over social media last week. For more on that, we send it over to Griffin News reporter Kyrie Moses. Kyrie. While Harry Potter Weekend is still over 30 days away, the fifth annual Chestnut Hill Extravaganza is gaining nationwide attention like never before. From local news networks like CBS3 to national networks like E! Online, Harry Potter Weekend became the talk of the town, not only in Philadelphia, but throughout the country. With so much media buzz about the three-day event, one can only imagine if this will be the biggest Harry Potter Weekend to date for Chestnut Hill. The event will begin Thursday, October 20th with the Harry Potter Conference, an event that highlights some of J.K. Rowling's past work. Harry Potter Weekend also features various games and activities, such as the Brotherly Love Cup Quidditch Tournament. The weekend ends at 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 22nd with the Harry Potter Festival. This year's Harry Potter Weekend is definitely shaping up to be one of the biggest ones the college has ever seen. Of course, for more information, you can head over to mychc.edu for a complete rundown of next month's events. Reporting for CHC-TV, Kyrie Moses. Thanks, Kyrie. Some interesting stuff here going on at Chestnut Hill College. CHC students released a video this week recounting what a day in the life of a college student is like. International students Adam Gavin and Diogo Barboza recorded footage of their daily routines. The video shows the schedule of a college student has on a regular basis while being narrated by senior Kevin Taylor. A day in the life of a college student is now available on YouTube. Current and inquiring communication students gathered together in St. Joe's Hall Wednesday. Students attended the annual communications meet and greet and advising session. The event gave everyone an opportunity to meet fellow Griffins and share experiences. Students also welcomed the new communications professor, Dr. Miles Ethan Lassity. He is teaching the journalism and public relations side of communications. But the best part about the event, the free pizza. Attention students, Alpha Lambda Delta wants to remind you that you may be eligible for membership in the Honor Society. First year students and transfers with a GPA of 3.5 or higher may be qualified. Students must be enrolled full time their first semester of undergraduate study. The society encourages everyone to join. It's also a great resume highlight. The CHC Green Initiative is still soaring throughout campus. The latest effort includes a new recycling method. The school hopes new blue bags in the recycling bins will promote a healthier and greener environment. The school reminds students to avoid throwing away books, styrofoam, and plastic bags. Other students at CHC are gathering at the Sugarloaf Campus after the new Garden Club invited new students to join. Today, Griffin News reporter Jordy Clark has the details behind the popular club. Jordy? Thanks, Jada. That's right. The garden is literally growing, both the garden and the club. It's pretty much a club where students can learn how to grow and maintain their own food, as well as um, just learn how to um, care for the earth, be more environmentally sustainable. Junior Andrew Comboy and his classmates grew 75 pounds of organic food. They donated over 50 pounds of it to local food kitchens. I also liked the idea of growing um, and like caring for our own food and potentially donating that to those in need in the Philadelphia area. The club allows students to learn how to grow their own food, but also creates a learning environment. Their initiative, keep gardening and take care of the earth. The students take home a message of caring for the earth. It's part of our mission statement here at Chestnut Hill, so I feel like it's not as emphasized as maybe the other things are. The garden is located on the Sugarloaf campus, where they host meetings on a regular basis. If anyone is interested in joining the garden club, contact President Andrew Conboy at conboya at chc.edu. Reporting for the Griffin News, I'm Jordy Clark. Back to you, Jada. Thanks, Jordy. The Garden Club definitely helps CHC's new green initiatives. In other club news, the Mask and Foil Club announced the full play is coming soon, and the crew wants your help. The Mother House will host The Matchmaker, a play written by Thornton Wilder. Director Brielle Frasca and Assistant Director Sierra Ward are looking for stage crew members. The play is a farce, filled with foolishness and love. Students can look forward to watching their classmates perform when the play arrives on the 18th of November. Big news from last week. Two popular Philadelphia universities announced they are merging. President of Philadelphia University, Stephen Spinelli Jr., announced that the school signed an agreement to integrate with Thomas Jefferson University. 
the president emailed students citing them as the inspiration for the move. The merge will provide students new and collaborative learning models and hopes to continue to provide more opportunities with the new staff. Griffin News correspondent Kira Eaton stands by with a new segment titled, In Case You Missed It. Kira, what did we miss? Thanks, guys. Well, in case you missed it, the iconic photo of a young U.S. sailor and a young woman kissing in Times Square is circulating the Internet again, but this time remembering the life of the woman who just passed away last week. 92-year-old Greta Freeman peacefully passed away at an assisted living home in Richmond, Virginia. A U.S. sailor kissed Friedman, a young dental assistant, after hearing that the Japanese surrendered, making the end of the World War II. This photo was taken and has been iconic ever since. Friedman is being laid to rest with her late husband. An assassination attempt that left the world shocked is hitting headlines again this week, as the man who shot President Ronald Reagan is free. John Hinckley Jr., the man responsible for shooting President Reagan, is now free after 35 years in a psychiatric center. The center cleared Hinckley to live in his mother's Virginia home. Community members are concerned, but Hinckley's mother is certain her son is safe to be a free citizen. We'll end with some lighthearted news. The popular pumpkin spice drink is back. Starbucks announced earlier this month, Pumpkin Spice is back for its 13th year. Starbucks also released a new drink, the Chili Mocha, made from espresso steamed milk, cocoa, and cinnamon pepper. Customers are already lining up for the new drinks this fall and can be purchased at any local Starbucks. In case you missed it, now you know. I'm Kira Eaton. We will be back with Jared Wack's latest forecast right after this break. Stay with us. It's a beautiful day here today in Philadelphia, and it looks like the last heat wave of the summer is finally over. Today's forecast is sunny, but not unbearable with a high of 76 and a chilly low of 56. Saturday gets a little warmer, but don't worry, the high is just 81 with some clouds to shield the sunny rays. The low will be 65. Now let's take a look at the five day forecast. During the beginning of the week, we'll be finally getting the shower we need after a long dry spell. Sunday will have showers, perfect for the Sugarloaf Growing Garden, with a high of 82 and a low of 66. Monday, we will still have some rain with a high of 82 and a low of 59. The sun will come out, and once again on Tuesday, with a high of 84 and a low of 58. Wednesday, the sun is still shining with a high of 83 and a low of 57. Lastly, Thursday, some clouds will come around, but there will still be some rays with a high of 84 and a low of 61. That's all for your weather. I'm meteorologist Jared Wack, and have a beautiful weekend. Fall sports are back. We throw it over to sports correspondent Christian Hernandez with a look at the latest sports news. Christian? Hi, I'm Christian Hernandez and here's a rapid fire update of the week in CHC sports. A lot of action was happening on September 10th. Men's cross country turned some heads at the Philadelphia Metro meet, placing third out of 11 teams. Notable runs, senior Eric Barton finished in fifth place with a program record 17 minutes, 55 seconds, and freshman Frank McGregor came in just behind him. Women's Cross Country clinched a fourth place finish in 19 field. Sophomore Mackenzie Hooven had the best Griffin performance coming in 12th. Despite the loss to Franklin Pierce in the Wildcat Regional Invitational, seniors Regina Trebosh and Madison McBride set up a couple of milestones. Trebosh is the first player in history with 2,000 digs and McBride reached her 1,000th kill, now only one away from taking over sole possession of second in the record books. The men of Chestnut Hill opened their CAC schedule against rival Post University, and boy, did they have trouble shooting. Niels Fusen, wide left. Zachary Gray, wide right. Cameraman bought obstructed view tickets. Connor Bethel, nah-uh. Second half, 64th minute, Andre Riello with the golasso. Post snaps the scoreless tie, one to nothing. Plays later, Kenny Walker, mm -mm, enough said, two nothing Eagles. 82nd minute, Jason Burns tallies CHC's first and only shot on net, stoned by the goaltender. Post-aggressive play dominates this game. Chestnut Hill falls 2-0. Griffins get out shot 29-9. Not going to win many games with those stats. The women also hosted Post in their conference opener. This match was a shootout. Let's set up the scene. Two goals apiece, start of overtime. Cecilia Dumont nearly wins it for the Griffins. Mayday, mayday, counterattack. Post capitalizes on the odd man advantage. Sevilla Yanez nets the golden goal. Post escapes with a 3-2 win. If you haven't seen it, check out the Fall Sports Preview available on YouTube and Facebook. This has been a Griffin News Sports Update. Back to you guys on the deck. Thanks, Christian. To find out more about what's going on around campus, you can follow us on Facebook at CHC Television. And that wraps up our broadcast. I'm Jada Zabala. And I'm Christopher Civil. That's Kira Eaton and Jared Wack. And from all the crew, 
Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.